Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Jira with GitHub. First of all, we have to create our account uh, to Jira through Atlassian.net and uh, once we do that, we are hosted by this uh, uh, like your work project and uh, the dashboard. We want to go, uh, once we're here, we want to go to the top corner of our of our screen and uh, there's this column with apps and we want to go and find a new apps we click on find the new apps and as you can see you can uh, uh, already uh, see some integrations with Jira and we want to use this uh, search button or search uh, search window and go with github we press enter and as you can see there's a get app for Jira. Click on this one and just get an app. And yeah, you're basically done. The other way around, it's through automate.io. Uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And uh, it works prob uh, most likely the same. We just go to the top corner and uh, click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show, show up, let's go and see all categories. Now we can choose from 200 and more apps, but we are only interested at the moment in two of them. The first one is Jira. We click on Jira and now uh, we have to pick the counterpart, which is GitHub. Like this. And as you can see, uh, there's already some popular integrations for us. But if we can't uh, pick from those, we can scroll down and uh, we can create our own integration. On the left side, underneath the triggers, uh, we want to have a Jira, a Jira icon. So we have to pick from all those options from Jira. So let's go with the first one. On the right side, underneath the actions, you want to pick uh, the GitHub one. So also let's go with first. But you can personalize it as you want or pick whichever you want. We hit try it now and basically we just uh, log in into automate.io account and uh, we are a few clicks away from completing this integration. Another way is through zapier.com. At zapier.com uh, you also have to create your account and you want to go to the top left corner and you want to click on make a zap. Uh, once we are here, you can name your zap, but we can jump straight to the trigger. It works basically the same way like at automate.io. So uh, on the app event, we go with Jira. Let's go with uh, software cloud or server. Now uh, we want uh, to pick a trigger event. So yeah, let's go with the first one. Continue. Now we have to sign into Jira. As you can see, uh, what version, uh, like this. We have to wait a bit. Yep, 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 accept. And continue. Uh, this is the project that I created just for this reason. We uh, hit continue and as you can see there you can test your trigger. The second one, the action, same as before, it's a github. Uh, we, ch uh, we chose a github, then action event from all of those. So let's go with the first one once again, continue. And the last thing you have to do is just to connect to your or sign in to github account and that's it so thanks for watching and see you on the next video